Hey everyone, AYBL Maine here, uh, returning again with my ongoing series of the top five albums for every year I've been alive. And we're at year 18 of those years. It's 1986. Such a strong year. Uh, very hard to pick albums here, but I did manage to come up with five. Uh, definitely in my top five is, is The Smiths, The Queen is Dead. Uh, it's got the title track. It's got the boy with the thorn in his side. Some girls are bigger than others. Um, ran the whole Smiths catalog. Very, very strong. Starting on Morrissey's catalog as well. It's going to be good material. I feel it already just after listening to uh, Viva Hate. Also, my top five is Paul Simon's Graceland. I thought this was just going to be about They Call Me Al. It's not. It's got the boy in the bubble. Um, it's got Under African Skies, actually the entire second side. If you want to run the second side of that album first, it'll really draw you into the whole thing. Uh, also in my top five is Peter Gabriel's So. Iconic album, guys. It's like the big album of that year, probably in a lot of ways. It's got uh, Red Rain, Mercy Street, Don't Give Up, the iconic Sledgehammer, which may have the most famous MTV video of all time. Uh, Peter Gabriel right at the top of his game right here guys uh, blending that little bit of uh, old progressive Peter Gabriel with a little bit of the pop stuff and Daniel Land was uh, producing was just right spot on on this guy so you should really enjoy it also in the top five is Life's Rich Pageant by REM probably their strongest album since Murmur it's got Fall On Me I Believe Superman, Swan Swan H, all great solid material. Still hanging on to a little bit of the Jangle Pop stuff and they probably don't let too much of that go into the hit document here um, and, and the next album. Uh, but the number one album for me uh, is my favorite metal album of all time which is Metallica's Master of Puppets. Like all eight tracks on here, The Thing That Should Not Be, Leper Messiah, Disposable Heroes, the title track, Battery, I used to warm up for tennis uh, to Damage Incorporated. That's how much I love this album. So Metallica's Master of Puppet is the number one album for me for the year 1986. Now to the album that everybody said I should love, but I actually didn't, this is a no brainer. I, I listened to Anita Baker's Rapture. Guys, I didn't like any song on there except maybe that song. And that's a big maybe. I didn't even, I haven't even gone back to that song since it was originally released in 1986. So, and I don't really have a desire to go back to it again for another 30 years. It's just not a very, in my opinion, it's just not a very strong album. I mean, I don't know where all the hype came from, but it's definitely not worth it. So, that's all I got for 1986, guys. The year I graduated is coming up, 1987, on the next video. And I got a little special guest that'll be joining us for that, too. So, you guys hang in there, and I'll talk to you soon.